Okay, here's a second trick. Um, for this one, you need a lot of dice. So I've got about 50 here. What you do is you have your audience roll them and then arrange them in a row. And just to be able to fit them on a the screen, I've arranged them in this zigzag curve, but basically it starts somewhere and ends somewhere. Okay, so all this is supposed to be completely random. Um, now, the next thing you do is you ask one of your audience member to um, come up with an arbitrary number, arbitrary number between, say, 1 and 10, okay? 1 and 10. Then that's their secret number, so they're not going to tell anybody. Now, say the secret number is 4. So what they're supposed to do now is to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And now the secret number changes. So there's a 6 here on top. So the secret number is now 6. You go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now the secret number is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2. 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. 1, 2, 2. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 5 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now it's a 3, but you can't go on, so this is the last secret number. <laughs> okay, now, try a different, um, try a different uh, secret number, try a different secret number. Uh, so say the person would have chosen 5 as the first number, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You end up at the same die. And in fact, can be almost certain that no matter what um, the person started with, no matter what number the person started with, you always end up on the last, on, on this particular die. Not on, on this one, not on that one, not on anything else. Always on this one. So, in terms of performance, um, what you could do is, um, you know, have them go through the whole thing and then predict, predict which their, their last number was by just choosing an arbitrary number and going through at the same time as the, as the audience member does that. Um, or you can have a couple of different people um, do all this, of course in silence, right? And then announce which number they came up with and all of them are the same and usually people find it very surprising. Well, it is surprising. So why does this work? Why does this work? Well, let's just start again, this time with the secret number one. And what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll mark all the dice that we come across, all the secret numbers. So 1, we just use 1, and then we change to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that gives us another 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That gives us a 6 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's a 5 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That gives us 6 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So four there. One, two, three, four. Gives a one here. Two. One, two. Put it there. One, two, three. Gives a five here. One, two, three, four, five. Gives a five here. And one, two, three, four, five. Gives the last number. So again, I mean, I've just demonstrated this for three different starting numbers. So what's happening here? Well, um, say you're the performer, chooses a one gets to a number at the end, okay? Now, what happens if uh, your audience member also chooses one? Well, then obviously they end up at the same number over there. What if they choose something else? Well, for example, if they choose one, two, three, four, five, six, what happens then? Well, then they come across one of the things that you came across, which means that, well, they also end up here. So one and six end up at the same number. Pretty obvious, right? Now what happens if, if they choose something else, like um, 3, 1, 2, 3, then it's 2 here. Well, then on this move, 
well, they have a certain chance of hitting one of those um, dice that you came across, right? So they have a certain chance. So one, two, well, this one time they don't go. Uh, so, you know, again, at this point in time, they have a certain chance of hitting one of those that you came across, right? Uh, so one, two. Now, again, at this point, they have a certain chance of coming across one that you took before. One, two, three, four, and indeed, in this case, they hit, hit one of them, and of course from then on everything is predetermined, and they go to the three. So basically it's a, it's a little bit like um, you know playing Ludo and waiting for the six to happen. Every time you don't hit one of the distinguished uh, dice here, you have a certain chance of hitting it. Right? And basically if you make this string here long enough, you can be pretty damn certain that no matter what you start with, at some point in time, you will hit one of those distinguished ones, and then it's all predetermined, goes all the way down to the end. Now you can also perform this trick here with cards, and that's where it comes from originally. Um, it's called the Kruskal card trick. Uh, it's named after Kruskal, a famous mathematician from Princeton University who came up with this trick.